Hello, this is Mythonian, and what I'm about to bring you is the first of many super melee battles that I'm going to be featuring. This one's going to be between me and one of my younger brothers. Uh, he goes by the name Ninotim, which some of you may know is Mythonian spelled backwards. <laughs> uh, he's my younger brother. He's going to be, he's the one that chose this fleet of 14 ships using ships that he liked and ones they removed some that he didn't like or wasn't very good at. Uh, I used, I'm used. i going to be using the same fleet as he is. We mirrored the fleets and whenever we choose ships we're going to be choosing random ships so we won't be able to choose counters to ships or anything like that so it's only going to be like raw overall skill with all ships instead of only being good with a few ships and you know knocking off enemy good ships with countering them or anything like that. So we're going to get this started right now, and both of us starting, I'm going to get an Urquan on the left, he's going to get a Pekunk. You can see the details of the ships on the right side, I'm always going to be on the bottom half, he's going to be on the top half. He's going in really close right now, the Pekunk is short range. Uh, with my Urquan, my, plaster, my big blaster does 6 damage, and can right there it kills him pretty easily, however the special note about the Pekunk is that it can revive. It has a roughly 50% chance, it's random, whether you can revive after death. He did it the first time, but that time he did was not lucky enough to get it. It's technically possible to be revived many, many times, but he only got it once. Uh, he's coming back with the second ship of a Slylandro. This is a very agile and easily controlled ship, that, but it is close range, and he's got to get in close to do any damage. There you can see the lightning attack, that's the only attack it has. I launch off a little bit of fighters, which is the special ability of the Urquan. The only way that he can get energy back though, because he doesn't recharge energy at all, the only way he can get energy back is to synthesize an asteroid, which you'll see him doing in a second. There he just did that. That's the only way he can get out energy back at all. And he's trying to get in close, but he just... When I went around the planet, I got the gravitational pull to, to snap me around, giving me a big speed boost. And he just wasn't able to get close enough to do any damage, so I finished him off without him doing a whole lot of damage. You can see the crew counts on the right side. I didn't really go over this before, but the crew counts is how the, effectively the health of your ship. If you lose all your crew, your ship explodes and you lose. Right there, he got an Urquan 2 and completely annihilated me. The fighters are extremely, extremely effective in Urquan vs. Urquan battles. I'm getting the Thradash, which is a very weak and very fast, agile ship. It doesn't have much of an attack. Those fireballs are the best thing I have, really. They do a little bit, but not a whole lot. I'm trying to get around him, because if he hits me a single time, then I'm dead. And my little blaster that I have, that I just hit him there right there, it only does one damage, so it's not a whole lot not that useful and then he cleans me up right there didn't do a whole lot of damage but I did some those fireballs that I got him once with were pretty good I'm getting the pekunk right now and as long as I stay behind him I, I don't have that much to fear he has to hit me twice with his blaster in order to kill me his fighter zaps me once and then he gets me once with a big blaster I have only a single crew left on my ship one more hit with anything and I'm dead but he can't manage to hit me and I'm just doing more and more damage over time. Managed to get caught on the edge of the ship there and his fighters cleaned me up. But I did a good amount of damage. Easily killed 20 crew right there. I get the Druze, which is effectively a big sniper. It, as you can see by the shape of the ship, it's effectively a, one, a sniper rifle. It does a good amount of damage. I just hit him there. And one thing to note about these ships is that the recoil on the weapon is huge. It has huge recoil and it can really affect your trajectory and your direction and everything. He gets the Andersons which is a, he, he goes right into the comet form. If you touch the comet it does damage and he hits me a few times. I'm able to get him away though. Right now he's got five crew. I've only got a single crew left on the Druze. Oh but a nice snipe and I clean him up too as the screen tries to catch up to the ship. <laughs> oh, and then he gets Druze too. So this is a sniper battle, effectively. However, I've got to hit him like three times and he's only got to hit me once. So he's got a big advantage in this. 
you can see how the sh how the shooting affects the trajectories of the ship really well in this battle <laughs> as it really builds up the speed and you can get going really fast I'm on the top by the way and he barely misses me there it's hard to tell even who's who but oh he cleans me up with a nice hit and his druge is still at full coming back with the yacht this is a close range high DPS ship its specialty is a shield which can block damage. I managed to head him off there and do a little bit of damage. I've got to get it really close and what he wants to do is stay away from me. So he's not doing that bad of a job right now with keeping that high speed up. However, if I can get in front of him and head him off, sort of like that, then that's the only opportunity I have to damage. I failed that time, but I'll keep trying and real in the meantime he's just not having much luck hitting me. That asteroid knocks off a lot of his his velocity, and I'm trying to get in close right now, but his shots are pushing him away from me. I managed to block both of those shots with my shield, which is quite lucky almost. But I'm not having the best luck in getting close to him right now. He's doing his best to stay away from me. Once again, misses on both sides. Oh, a nice hit by him. Takes some damage away from me, and he, there he rams into the planet. Hitting the planet does damage to your ship and kills some crew. Uh, it does more damage the more crew you have, so it's like exponential almost. I uh, get a little bit more damage in on that pass. It's running at about half crew now, and I get the rest of it done there. Not that bad. He only hit me once. Could have been a lot worse. He gets the Merm Herm, which is the, the specialty of this ship, is transforming between two different phases. A long range, fast ship, which is what he has right now, that shoots little missiles. However, it turns really, really slowly, as you might be able to tell. This is the other form of it that you just saw. It can turn really fast but it is extremely slow and it also its weapon is a little bit of a laser which you'll see in just a second that laser does a good bit of damage I try to get in close to do some, a lot of damage he's only got two crew left but he still manages to clean me up I get the ball next the ball is a very unique ship it's one of the new ones in project 6014 as you can see, it sort of spits out clouds, and then the little purplish thing is an igniter. And there I hit him with three clouds, and the igniter sits off the clouds, which explode, and do a decent amount of damage. Ooh, and he gets the Coral, one of the biggest ships in the game. Definitely one of the best ships. I'm trying to get in close to get him with his clouds. Ooh, and I get him with a lot of clouds, doing a hell of a lot of damage right there. That's one of the specialties of the of the ball, being able to do a lot of damage really quickly like that. But I run into his blades and he cleans me up without too much more difficulty. And I get the Explorer, another new ship in the Project 64. This is actually the one you play in the campaign, at least at the, in the demo part of it. I'm able to launch a sort of confusion ray, which disables the controls of his ship. It's not the easiest to get though especially on a moving ship as you can see me missing a few times and then my other weapon is like some ion bolts or something which do two damage each and can do decently I, there, I clean them up rather easily there one thing to note about the explorers is that they have 50 crew more than any other ship in the game by far the most oh, he gets the Foon Foon another new ship it's got a little blaster as the primary and then it's secondary is that little blade thing that spins around <laughs> my brother often compares it to a Jedi this lightsaber with how it looks he's trying to get an angle on me but I'm getting ready to disable him if he gets too close he's doing good dodging a lot of those but he's not doing any damage either. 
He misses just barely with that. I disable him. And clean him up right there. Not too much difficulty. I didn't take any damage in that fight. Oh, and he gets the Explorer also. Because we're playing with Mirror Fleets. We both have the same uh, fleet composition. Uh, this is... I'll just say this is a rather long battle. And it's rather quite drawn out. Because we just keep stunning each other and doing a little bit of damage here and there. <laughs> he stuns me there and I'm disabled as he tries to get in close. I'm on the bottom left, by the way. He's on the top right at the moment. We pass each other, both stunning each other. Drifting away. Now I'm at the bottom of the screen. He's on the upper left. We miss each other with the stun rays. I whip around the planet to get some more velocity. He stuns me. Nothing new happening. But there he runs into the planet, dropping him down to 32 crew. Since he had a lot of crew before that, he lost even more than usual with what happened when you ran into the planet. Oh, I stun him there. I'm on the bottom, by the way. I miss him, though. Don't do any damage. I stun him again. Can I get some damage in this time? Doesn't look like it. Oh, and then I hit the planet, dropping me down to 27 crew. I hit him there. Hit him a few times with my blaster, dropping him down to 26 crew. But he stuns me right back and drops me down to 17. So I'm down by 9 crew right now. He's got a decent advantage. <laughs> Just a stun and pass. Nothing happening there. I stun him. Oh, and he hits the planet too. He's down to 15 crew. Now the tables have turned and I've got a slight advantage. He stuns me, but then he hits the planet, dropping him down to 12. We pass by a little bit. He drops me down to 15. He's on the left, I'm on the right, by the way. He stuns me. We're drifting towards each other. He hits me a few times. I launch off a stun to stun him so I can get away. I've only got five crew. He's got now he's got six after that little volley where he misses me, but I managed to hit him. He stuns me. Well, we stun each other. More stuns. Nothing new happening. He manages to miss me there, so I got lucky. I hit him once. He's only got four crew left. He stuns me. I only need to hit him twice more with my primary weapon, but he needs to hit me three times. This is coming right down to the wire. We stun each other and drift away. <laughs> Once again, we stun each other. I'm on the top, by the way. He's on the bottom left. He stuns me and does a little bit of damage. I hit him once. He's got two crew. I've, I've got three. I only need to hit him once more. He stuns me. Can he clean it up? He does. He barely defeats me. He's only got two crew left. What a battle. What a battle. That was long and drawn out, but still really close. I get the Merm Herm, transform into the long range one, and hit him with two missiles to clean him up really quickly. No difficulty there. He's got the Yahat. We'll see what I try to do here. I'm just trying to hit him long range right now. Do a little bit of damage. He blocks the first missile with his shield. We'll see if I can manage to do much with this one. Last battle with these two ships, he had the Merhem and I had the Yahat, and he managed to kill me with the laser at close range. We'll see if the tables turn the same way. I've hit him twice with the missiles so far. He's lost only two crew. The missiles are very weak overall. He's a little bit frustrated at not being able to hit me right now. Trying to get it close. He does a good amount of damage right there. And he managed to win. He's got five crew left with the, his Yahat. My laser just wasn't accurate enough. Oh, I've got the Korra next. This is personally one of my favorite ships, but I run right into the planet at the start. 
Oh, but he goes right into the fireballs, ending pr rather prematurely without doing a whole lot himself. That planet, though, that planet took a good bit. He's got the ball this time, and I'll be sure not to make the same mistake he did when I had the ball and I did a lot of damage really quickly. I'm hitting him really good with these long-range blades. There's another one. Wow. Dropping him just over half health. We'll see if he can get anything done. He's leaving a trail right now. They're probably not going to do good, do much later on. I hit him again. He's under half health right now. Oh, but I hit the planet and barely missed that blade. That planet has done so much damage to me. Dropping me under half health. I hit him again. I only need two more blades to kill him. Barely dodging the planet. Trying to get away from me. He's going in close. I managed to get the blades, though, before he can do any damage. He's only got three ships left. He comes back to the Thradash. He's going to have some difficulty here. He can't get in close, otherwise I'll kill him with the fireballs, but he can't stay too far away, otherwise I'll hit him with the blades. He comes in, oh, he gets too close and gets eaten up by those fireballs. Two ships down. Aurelu is his next ship. This little skiff is can teleport around and has a little bit close range laser. It's probably the most agile ship in the game. Oh, uh, but he hits a blade. He does one damage there. He could have done, stayed and done more, but instead he teleported away. He's trying to get back in close. Nearly teleports him to the planet, which is an instant death. So, oh, he hits the asteroid, gets bumped into the blade. Unfortunate for him. Unfortunate. His Earthling is his last ship. We'll see if he can do. I block one of those two nuclear missiles with my blades, but he hits the other one. He hits me again. He's only got to me twice more with those missiles. Those missiles are extremely long range and homing in. He hits me again. I'm only one hit. I blocked that one with a blade. I blocked that one as well. Personally, I'm not someone to use the fireballs to block this much because I try to save the energy. Uh, well, but it, that ends up costing me because I try to use the blade, but I'm not quick enough. I get the Anderson next. I go right into the blazer for him, hit him a few times. He's got two crew left. Circling around him a few times trying to hit him. I barely get him that last time on the head. Anderson's victorious over his Earthling. And that's that. All of his ships are dead now. Good game to him. I have five ships remaining. That was that. Good game, Niner Tim. Mythonian is victorious with 77 points remaining. And that's that for this match. I'll see you guys next time. This has been Mythonian. Later.